<laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to Journey to Nailed. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and joining this journey with me. So I have gotten a few requests to do like a little nail room tour, nail desk tour, because if you haven't seen, I bought my actual nail desk from Amazon and I have a video of me putting it together and I can say that it's a pretty decent desk. I, I really like my desk. So if you haven't checked out that video after this one, make sure to go check that one out. Okay, so first of all, let me give you a heads up. Um, this area is connected to my house. My mom is a licensed cosmetologist. She's been a licensed cosmetologist for about over, it's been over 10 years. So what I did is I just inserted myself into her, her cosmetology area. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip the camera and let you guys check it out. Okay, so this is the overall view of the area. So as you guys see, all her stuff is in that area on the back. You see her wigs in the back. She also sells hair, so I'll make sure to leave her link down below. Well, since I'm talking about it, let's go, let's go check it out. So she made this wig, and as you can see, she was putting some curls in it. I'll be sure to leave her website linked below. She sells hair as well as she's a licensed cosmetologist. So now let's go back over here to my area. So this is like a, let me give you guys in the corner. This is like the overview of everything. So our clients, our clientele entered through this door right here. So they entered through this door. As soon as they walk in, we have this big old beautiful mirror and then my mom has a couple of magazines as well as all her little um licenses business license certificate all that stuff so you know that we legit around here okay too legit to quit too legit to quit we're legit okay now over here I just have this little, my Madam Glam Advent calendar. I just have it set up for a little decoration. It's a pretty box, so I decided to keep it set up. Then I have my little nail polish rack. Um, I don't have much, but you know, I have a little bit and it turns. Um, it was extremely hard for me to find this rack. So if I can find it, I will leave it linked below for you guys. Then I have my little Akron mount that I um, record my videos on. So I just have that laying right there. And then when you get to my desk, you'll see I have my little hand sanitizer. And then the two chairs for me and my guest. I have a little garbage can over here. Then so in my first drawer, my first drawer, I just have some nail tips, my sanding bands, gel resin, the resin activator. I have my bits in this clear container. I bought like an 18 piece of different size containers. I'll try to leave it linked below if it's still available. I bought it from Amazon. And I keep my uh, my nail bits in the same little package that they came in because right now I still don't know them just by looking at them. So I need them to stay in the package that's labeled for them. Then I have my nail glue, my primer, my dehydrator, my nail art foil glue, uh, my base gel for poly gel, and then some nail forms here. All right, and then the second drawer, I have my scissors, nippers, and cuticle pushers. These are all clean, by the way. Um, I have all of my nail clippers. Then I have my nail brushes. And then this big tray, it contains my acrylic brushes, my poly gel brushes, as well as my nail art brushes. And I have some little uh, nippers here. There's a couple sets of tweezers. And these are just like extra stuff that I don't need right now. So like extra wax pencils, extra tweezers, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put all this back in here. Get in there neat, just how it was. All right, the third drawer contains my poly gel. I have some McCart poly gel, as well as some Madam Glam poly gel. Um, my dappin' dish, my little art little tray, 
and then I have some of the acrylics that I my go to acrylics. So you see, I have my Mia Mia Secret Pink Clear, the Natural Pink. I have some clear right here, and then some J J C Beauty Concepts, the Cover Pink, their Cover Blush, more Mia Secret. I think I have these are down here are like custom mixes of like glitter that I have, and. In the last drawer, I have all of my nail, well, not all of it, but a good majority of my nail art. So I have, you know, these things right here, these little wheels, um, these little glitter things. These were actually in a haul that I did, a little Amazon haul that I did. It's in my, on my page. Uh, oops. My bad. The nail foils, the transfer foils. Then we have some art. We have some dried stickers, and they're in the, like this big container. And I have um, like little butterfly stickers over here. I have a couple stamp sheets here in this area. So I have a small, majority of my little small nail art are in this drawer. You guys, it's going to be a real quick video. I still consider myself a beginner. And when you're beginning, you don't want to spend all your money at once just buying a whole bunch of products. So, you know, you want to buy what you need as you need it. So that's what we're working with right here. I will say, if you are not a beginner and you purchase this desk, please be wary that the drawers, as you can see, the drawers are pretty small. They don't hold that much. They're not that deep and they're not that wide. And if you don't have these clear containers in here or something to keep everything organized, it will get kind of messy. So be aware of that. Then in my little cabinet part that I have here, I have just my extra monomers that I have, some 70% um, alcohol, some wipes. Um, back here, back up in this area, I'm not going to go through it, but it's just like some masks, um, my nail trainer. I have a couple nail trainers that I have stuffed in here. <laughs> um, and then down there, same thing, you can actually see my little nail trainer hand and then the stand for it. Um, some napkins and as well as I have some extra oh, some extra clear containers that I didn't get to use yet so I'll let you guys see they all come like this and they come like stacked inside of each other you just pull them apart as you need them so that's what's there put those back Ooh. okay now let's go oh and then um i don't think i told you guys i have this little fan this little desk fan it's um usb portable and i actually plug it into the back of my lamp my lamp i purchased this lamp from um office depot and it has different lighting settings as you can see and then you can turn the brightness up or turn it all the way down it's your prerogative however you want your lights to be okay now we move over to my right hand side let me move this so we can get a better view of it is my little crate so we have my little small thing of the mia secret monomer my barbicide acetone um this is filled with alcohol this is um, hand sanitizer. And then I have this um, little nail art brush. I'm just keeping the container. I have all of my cuticle oils right here. So all my cuticle oils stay in this one. And then um, these are all my top coats that I reach for. So I have the IBD. I have a Mia Secret top coat. I have a matte. Oh, can you see? I have a matte top coat in here. And then I also like to keep my white and black polishes next to me. Just in case if I decide to do any nail art or anything, I feel like white and black are, you know, the basic ones that you should keep near you all the time instead of having to go back and forth from your nail polish rack. Um, there's the black right there. That is a base gel. Uh, this is the top coat. 
and this is a top it off from um, Marquette okay and then I keep my nail files here these are all new nail files small little nail buffers that I keep remember I use a new one after each client then I have my um my alcohol wipes some uh cotton pads and then these files and this buffer over here this is the area where i keep i keep these for my nail trainer so anything in this corner i reuse for my nail trainer so these for clients this stuff over here for my nail trainer so like i said we're reusing after each guest so that is the top one all right then we go down to the second row. This row is full of the, um, oh, sorry. This row is full of the acrylics that I don't too much reach for. This is the Mia Secret. Um, I wanna say, I believe it's the Fruity Collection. A lot of these colors in this collection are pretty marbly. They're not too, they're not as opaque as I would like them to be. So I just leave them here. Not gonna throw them away. I will find some use for them. We don't waste stuff around here, so we'll be able to use it some way, somehow. Um, next, this is my little diamond. I spilled some cleaning solution on it, so that's why it's kind of, <clears throat> that's why the box of it is kind of blue, but this is my diamond that I used for my clients to take pictures with. Then I have these, um, these containers that hold my gems. I want to say, why is it wet? I hope ain't nothing leaking. Oh, maybe my barber size spill. I think my barber size spill. Okay. So I have these little stackable containers that I um, store my gems in. I got these containers from Michaels. So I have this one. This one, I just have some solid ones. So yeah, like little four little stackable things. And I just put my gems in. When I purchase my gems, I got those from Michaels. This is my dirty container. So all my dirty implements, once I'm done with them, I put them in this container. Any container that you put your dirty implements in, you want to make sure that it has a closed um, top on it to keep any any of those microorganisms from um, coming out and spreading on top of other items. So dirty implements, dirty drill bits go in here. They get washed and sanitized. I have my um, some Sharpies here for nail art. And then I have this little stackable container. They're actually little twist offs. Um, so some more fill this one's filled with glitter. That one is filled with pigment. And then we have more glitter. And you just untwist them and use them as you please. And then last but not least, we have the final um section of my little cart. Um, as you can see, I have my little UV lamp. My UV lamp, I've had this lamp since i was in high school actually i've had this lamp my sophomore year of high school i purchased it from ebay i want to say it was like 20 dollars um so this will not be linked below i'm sure it's not even available anymore this specific one i graduated high school in 2014 and it's 2021 so that should let you know <laughs> uh, how long i've had this lamp um it still works but i'm looking for a new one because the uv lamp uh, cure it takes longer to cure than a basic LED lamp. So I'm looking forward to uh, changing this one out for an LED. So if you know of any LED brands, please leave them down in the description, not the description box. <laughs> please leave them, leave them down in the comment section below so I can check them out. Then I just have some gloves. I have these, um, these soak off trays and I have a mini, um, a little mini LED lamp from Madam Glam. And then the very last item is my barbicide mixture. If you're gonna put barbicide in a bottle, you wanna make sure that you label it, do not drink, and barbicide. 
all right so that completes this video um it's very short like i say my nail area i'm i still consider myself a beginner i am a beginner and i'm actually in school right now i am projected to graduate in the beginning of may and today is february 23rd so we're gonna cross our fingers that i have enough stamps and all that good stuff to graduate um, if you guys have any questions about manicuring school, please leave them in the comments below. I will answer any questions that you have, obviously in a separate video. But yeah, leave those comments below. Um, like I say, my area is very small, very compact. <laughs> I don't have an overflow of product, so it works for me. Um, I will say if you do have an overflow of product, I will say try to invest in a different desk. This desk is very awesome. The top, the top of the desk is actually acetone proof. You feel me? And it gets the job done. Oh, look at that. My bad. I say it gets the job done, especially if you're a beginner and you just need something for right now. But if you've been in the game for a while, if you've been in this nail game for a while and you have loads and loads and loads of product, this desk isn't big enough for you. Or if you do get this desk, you'll have to buy extra little carts. And you see, um, and you can see what I can fit in my cart and all that good stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next one. Remember, leave any video suggestions down below.